Hey everybody, this is D Hunter, bringing another action figure vehicle review today. We're going to look at the Spin Master, Batman, and Batwing from The Flash. These are of the 12 inch scale, 1 to 6 scale variety. Now, I've gotten some previous Spin Master 12 inch scale vehicles like the Batmobile, and they're awesome for your 6 and 7 inch collection. And I'm hoping it's going to be the same for this Batwing, which looks giant and fantastic. I got this figure from Target.com. I'll drop a link in the description below. This is going to be my first piece of merchandise for the Flash film, and I guarantee I'm going to end up getting a bunch of stuff. The box is absolutely massive. Let's take a look. Exclusive Batwing. Apparently this is a Target exclusive. I was not aware of that. Only at Target. DC. 27 inches. 70 centimeters. Batman plus Batwing from the Flash. A little warning here. Looks like it even has retractable landing gear. The top, the flash. On the back, here's the Batwing. Giant, 27 inches. Functioning canopy, landing gear. And in case it helps anybody, here is the barcode. So no further ado, let's open it up. So here are the contents of the package. We have the Batwing, which is broken down to three separate pieces. And then we have a 12-inch scale Michael Keaton Batman figure. Now I personally got this just for the Batwing, not for Michael Keaton at all. But, that being said, it's still a pretty cool 12-inch basic Michael Keaton figure. So, first thing I want to do, snap the Batwing wings into place and check it out. And here's the Batwing, fully assembled. It looks pretty good, especially for a basic vehicle. It's sleek cockpit is incredibly long but it's going to hold the 12 inch figure the shape is perfect from the film design it's basic but not too basic it does have some details on it got some exhaust here some sculpting details the fins sleek look At the bottom you can see the retractable landing gear looks like some little engines to hover yeah, it's kind of hollow and basic with the bottom. The landing gear is a really cool feature. Overall, this is going to tide me along until McFarlane releases theirs. Now, before we continue to look at the Batwing, let's check out this Michael Keaton Batman figure. This is a 12 inch scale basic figure. 12 inch scale is a scale I have absolutely no interest in any way, shape, or form in. So, as far as I'm concerned, I could just discard this figure. But you know what? He's a lot nicer than I expected. Yeah, it's basic, so it's nothing spectacular, like Hot Toys by any stretch of imagination. Not even as nice as McFarlane as far as details go. But it's pretty cool to have Michael Keaton Batman for the new film. Cal looks pretty good, long ears. Now, the suit is not the 89 suit. Kind of reminds me of Batman Forever a little bit. Traditional Batman symbol here. His head can simply rotate. Cloth soft goods cape, frayed at the bottom. Shoulders on a ball joint. Up, down, around, single jointed elbow with rotation. Wrist can rotate. Torso is one solid piece. Legs complete as the splits. Ball joints here go four about that much. Single jointed knees. That's all the articulation. Now some of the detail is simply just very basic and bland. But he's Batman. Now let's check out the measurements of this thing, and it is a beast from bottom to the top, about 22 and a half inches tall, and that's going to be pretty much how far back it goes. And then, as far as how wide it is, from one point to the other, just about 27 inches wide. And as far as how tall it is, about 5 inches tall. Now let's check out the action features of this thing. So Batwing. Really one solid piece. We've got the cockpit here, but we'll take a look at that in just a moment. First, let's check out this landing gear. Very cool thing. Pretty much pull them out. Simple as that. Easy enough. Wheels, of course, they don't actually rotate. Still, very cool to have retractable landing gear. So the Batwing stands up a little bit taller. You can have your figures maybe working on the under bottom side of it, repairing it, staying next to it. Very cool. 
Now let's look at the cockpit. It's kind of disappointing. The glass is extremely long. goes all the way back there. Now the movie. This thing is a two-seater. Probably got one person front, one person back. Although when they think of the trailer, the two flushes were in the front together. Open it up. It is totally basic inside of there. Absolutely nothing. Just a giant coffin. Totally blank. A good customizer could probably put two seats inside of there. But at least it will definitely hold your figures. Now we have to put this Batman into this Spin Master Batwing. Now this is a 12 inch tall Batman figure, 1 6 scale, but this Batwing is not that scale at all. I love how Spin Master keeps making these vehicles for the 12 inch figures. I've got a couple different Batmobiles, still looking to get the Batman Batmobile. I don't know why, I've never been able to come across that. But these vehicles are better scaled for your 6 and 7 inch figure collection. The Big Farthing Batwing is a little bit bigger than this, but way more expensive and I can't wait to get this thing. But this one could really do if someone's on a budget and can't get that Batwing. So we have this Batman who's a giant in this vehicle, super undersized compared to him, but it's gonna work perfect for my action figure purposes. So let's get him inside of here. Let's pop this thing open. Take the figure, pretty much lay him down. Just taking a little nap, put him inside. Fits complete clearance. No problem. The inside of this thing is giant. So effectively, it can be used as a two seater bat wing in my universe. Because I bet the McFarlane one's a one seater. Time will tell. Shut. Complete clearance. No problem. Looks a little ridiculous. It's completely standing up right inside of there. Still, it's always nice to be able to actually put your figures into the vehicles. And this guy is about twice as big as what I'm trying to put in here. Now they've taken a pretty good look at what you get in the package. Let's get to the real meat and potatoes of this video. How it's going to work for your McFarland DC Multiverse collection. I wanted to know, how's this thing going to work with figures like this for my McFarland DC Multiverse collection or my NECA collection? These are figures that are going to hold me over until McFarland's Flash figures drop next month. So, let's take a look. These are the figures that are going to hold me over until the Flash film comes out and McFarland's figures drop. We have McFarland DC Multiverse, Ezra Miller Flash from Zack Snyder's Justice League, as well as a Ben Affleck Batman in the tactical suit. We've got Supergirl from Injustice 2. And then we have a NECA Michael Keaton in the front, all 7-inch scale. All what I'm intended to use this Batwing with. Now the first thing I wanted to know is how are these figures going to fit inside the cockpit? Well as you saw, the cockpit is very blank. Take your 7 inch neck of Batman here, pop him inside. Take your 7 inch Affleck Batman here, pop him inside, maybe kind of behind him. You know what? Doesn't really look too bad here. Got the two of them in together. Yeah, it kind of got his legs under him a little bit, but it looks kind of cool if you can make some kind of a seat there. Not too bad. Of course, I want to swap that out. Of course, I don't think those two Batmans are actually going to interact in the film. Let's say Batman back driving, Flash in the front. Pretty cool. I mean, you could cram a couple more if you want to lay them on top of each other, but comfortably, I'd say you can fit two figures in this cockpit. Now, how's the clearance? Watch his ears. Bam. No problem whatsoever. You can see the two of them in here. Batman's driving. Flash is a passenger. They're on the way to save the multiverse. And of course, you'll have Supergirl flying along the way, just like in the trailer. But this is his Batmobile. This is part of Michael Keaton's armory in the film The Flash. In 1989, Batman, we had the Batmobile and the Batwing. In Batman Returns, we had the Batmobile and the Bat Ski Boat thing. And now in this film, we got the Batmobile and this new Batwing. Looks great. Matches Michael Keaton, Batman. And if you're curious just how many figures are going to fit into this thing, I was able to fit all the different characters in the movie that I have so far. We'll start off with the Dark Flash, Supergirl, regular Flash, 
alternate universe Flash, Michael Keaton Batman, and Ben Affleck Batman. Yes, they were all sort of scrunched in, laid together. You can easily fit two figures in there, front and back, and you can fit two more on top of them. And I crammed in a total of six seven-inch scale figures. Very roomy, empty cockpit, ready for customizing. If you could attach some seats and maybe some control panels inside of here, you could easily make this into a two-seater Batwing. All those seats would have to lay down a little flatter than that. Here's Batman in front of this Batwing. And here's Batman and the Flash both in front of the Batwing, about to go save the multiverse. And here are both Batman next to this Batwing. Here's this Batwing, wall mounted in my Batcave. This is where I normally keep the DC Direct Batman the Made Series Batwing. This thing barely fits, so it looks like the McFarlane one is not going to fit here. Here's Supergirl, flying next to the Batwing, just like in the trailer. Now that we've established pretty much any scale of Batman figure will fit inside this thing. Now let's check it out. Next to some other Batman vehicles from my armory. Here it is. Next most recent Spin Master 12 inch scale vehicle that I've got. This is an armored Batmobile. And here it is. Next to their first version of the Batmobile. Both the blue and black variants. These vehicles are intended for 12 inch scale figures, but work so much better for your 6 and 7 inch scale stuff. They also made a Batman Batmobile from The Batman. It only seemed like it was released overseas in Asia. I would love to give me one of those. Now let's check it out. Next to some other 1989 Michael Keaton Batman vehicles that were used in the actual films. Here's this new Batwing for the Flash. Next to the 1989 Batwing. This is the old Toy Biz version. Then, next to the 1989 Batmobile. This is also the Toy Biz version, and I can't wait for McFarlane's version. And then Batman Returns. He used this ski boat thing. Now let's check it out. Next to some other Batwing and flying Batman vehicles. Here it is, next to the 1989 Batwing again. This one's from Toy Biz. Here it is, next to both the Batjet and the Batcopter from Kenner's 1989 Dark Knight Collection. And here, with Kenner's Batman Forever Batwing. And now, next to a couple more Kenner Batwings. These are from the new Batman Adventures and Justice League. Here it is, next to the DC Direct Batman the Main Series Batwing. This is a grail in any collection. Then. Next to Hot Toys, 112 scale, The Bat from The Dark Knight Rises, another grail in my collection. Here it is, next to the Mattel, Justice League Flying Fox. This is sort of the troop transport they used in Justice League. And here, next to Mattel, Batcopter from Brave and the Bold. And now, next to the Batjet from Mattel's Power Attack line. Here it is, next to McFarlane's Batwing from their Superpower sign. Now let's check it out. Next, a few more Batman vehicles from my armory. Here it is, next to McFarland's Batman Beast. Then, next to Mattel's Batmobile from Justice League. This is not the radio-controlled Ultimate version. I think this version is even better. This is from the Mattel Multiverse. And here it is, next to DC Direct's Batmobile from Batman the Animated Series. Another grail in any collection. And finally, here it is, next to a custom Bat Tank I have from Batman The Dark Knight Returns. Another grail in my collection. So overall, this is an absolutely fantastic Batwing, especially for the price, $40, that's the price of two Multiverse figures, makes me feel like this thing is a steal. Another McFarlane version, it's $250, it is obviously going to be superior, bigger, better detailed, etc, and I cannot wait for that thing. But if you can't afford that, this is a great other option, and this will definitely hold me over in the meantime. It's a fantastic Batwing, especially for the price. Great bang for your buck, great value, and looks good, all things considered. If I to rate this thing, man, it's a hard choice. I want to give an 8 out of 10. Maybe the score will drop by the time we get the other one. But right now, I'm loving this thing. Yes, the cockpit is completely unfinished and empty. That works fine for me. I just want to be able to put my figures in here, and you can put a couple of them in there, no problem. complaints about this thing I mean the wheels don't turn but it's also a cheaper vehicle the bottom's kind of hollow but it looks great from the top the cockpit yeah would be nice if it has some seats but if it came with a seat intended for the 12 inch Batman that would really hurt things for my purposes so it's better the way it is great things its size it's massive it's sleek 
and it's cheap. So this is D Hunter. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked the video, press like below. If you have anything you want to say with the video, add it in the comment section. If you want to see additional action figure vehicle and action figure reviews from me, press subscribe. I do appreciate when you do that. Once again, this is D Hunter. Thank you guys for watching this video, and I'll talk to you guys real soon.